Hello, this is Catherine, owner of Skin Dealer and Phantom Designs on Instagram, and today I'm going to show you how to do alternate jerseys on Photoshop CS6. This is what the final product looks like. So first what you want to do is you want to take your original image and put a skin on it, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your quick selection tool right here, and if you don't have it, just double click or right click on it, and it will probably be on the magic wand tool. So you can toggle back and forth between these, but for now we're going to use the quick selection tool. And make sure your size is around 40, 20, or whatever, how big ever big your picture is, so you have a nice, you can see the plus arrow, and it's a good size for it. And you're going to select just the jersey and helmet, or whatever you want to be in your uh, alternate colors. But do not select the skin this time. And I'm going to skip ahead because I've already done this and I don't want to waste your time. Okay, so now I have selected all of the jersey and helmet. And so I'm going to go to image. I'm going to make sure that I'm on background right here. And I'm going to click command J to duplicate the layer. So you just get the alternate jersey there and no background. And then once you're on that layer, go to image adjustments. Q slash saturation. And to start, you can move the slider around to see what looks best. And I figured out for, that for this image, you're going to use negative 32. And then again, you can play around with this, see what looks best. I thought 40 looked the best for this setting. You can click OK. Make your bottom layer visible. And there we are. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed.